What up guys and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Christoph and today we've got a really interesting topic for you. In this video, we're gonna be discussing skill-based matchmaking, its causes, its effects, and if it could actually be the primary force negatively affecting Fortnite right now. As you all know, Fortnite is in shambles, views are down, people are trying out other games, and we're all waiting for Epic to do something drastic. So in this video, we'll be telling you a potential reason why. And as always, for today's question of the day, what got you guys into Fortnite? For me, it was definitely my friends. We used to play a ton. We don't play as much anymore. Isn't that right, Max? What are you doing, playing Minecraft over there? Minecraft. All of them. Max has moved on to other games. We're all waiting for the next season. All right, guys, let's get into the video. So to start things off, we'll be looking at an experiment performed by Reddit user Cesar33. We saw this post and it got over 2k upvotes, so we thought it'd be worth taking a look at. Cesar used two different computers, networks, and three different accounts to run tests and see whether or not skill-based matchmaking may be hurting the game more than we think. To start off, Cesar introduces himself as a pretty average player with about a 1.5 KD, which would be more if he went to ProGuides.com, but I digress, and about a 4% win rate. So just above average, and he goes on to say this. He says, I noticed that when SBMM for pubs came out, my pubs became nearly impossible to win. I'd constantly get killed by players who have 6 KD or higher and a 15% win rate on Fortnite Tracker, yet I only have a KD of 1.5 and a 4% win rate. Clearly, it's an unfair matchup. Unfair matchup indeed, and here is how it all started. He goes on to say that my first account was a test of how quickly the smurf detection worked. So I made an account, did the first drop, ran around until 30 left or so, then purposefully died. No building, no kills. Second match, I did a similar thing, except this time I got one kill. And the third match, no kills again. Purposely died around 50. The strange thing is, in the matches 4 through 10, all of them were against smurfs. I shot at players who were level 6, and they'd instantly 90'd into a rush, then edited out a floor to headshot me. Okay, at that point I assumed that maybe it based it off device ID to prevent smurfs. So he grabbed his other device on which he's never even run Fortnite, ran it on a mobile hotspot, and then made a brand new account, and the results speak for themselves. At around four games in, and I'm assuming this is when bots stop showing up, I'd shoot someone and they'd do things that only a contender plus player would do, while at the same time being level 5 through 10 or so. What the heck? Sometimes players would be even level 150 plus with a KD of 4 plus, while my smurf had literally zero kills and no top 10 matches. Okay, so let me simplify this. On a brand new device, he died four games in a row at the start to essentially simulate the beginner experience. And then after a few games, he'd find players who were pretty good, some with a KD of up to four. So a total noob with four matches, zero kills each, gets matched up with four KD players. Honestly, that's not very fair. So there's a clear issue with skill-based matchmaking right now that many of us did not see coming. Honestly, that's where most of the fun happens. I like getting kills, and if I'm actually gonna be in a lobby or a game where everyone's killing me and I can't get any kills, obviously I don't wanna play the game much anymore. So matchmaking is extremely important to the success of a game, and maybe that's why Fortnite is not doing well right now. Let's think back to the earlier seasons, up to the point where Epic introduced skill-based matchmaking. When lobbies were completely random, the game was so fun. Remember that 98% of the players in Fortnite really aren't great at the game, and most of the good players are off doing something else like scrimming or playing creative. Most of the players you run into are average or below average without skill-based matchmaking. Even if you are in a game with a few really good players, chances are they're still going to die during the early to mid game since most good players just W key to avoid getting bored. Overall, it seems like skill-based matchmaking hurts everyone here. Usually it's great in games like in League of Legends or in other competitive games, but there's really nothing good that comes about right now in Fortnite. Being able to play pubs and have fun, dropping a ton of kills was always great and we really enjoyed it a lot. With the skill-based matchmaking, I can't find a good game without it being a ton of sweats. Without skill-based matchmaking, average or below average players will still be the average player you run into and it really won't hurt anyone involved. 
And to add insult to injury, a ton of players are quitting because of skill-based matchmaking. Just listen to what Reddit user Royale with Cheese had to say. This main reason I quit the game. If I could queue with randoms for arena, that would be nice and I would actually play the game. Solos are just trash. People try way too hard on there compared to duos or squads. Overall, I think skill-based matchmaking hurts everyone and something really needs to be done or else players are going to keep quitting. Let us know in the comments down below what you guys think and if you think that this change could come about. Let's start a discussion down in the comments. I'm really excited to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Comment down below and continue the discussion on whether or not skill-based matchmaking should stay. If you guys enjoy this type of content and want to see more, then please leave a like. We really appreciate that. And also leave a like if you love the motivation guy. And also don't forget if you want to improve at Fortnite and become better than all your friends, then head over to ProGuides.com and find yourself a pro coach right now using the description link below. Once again, it's been Kristoff with you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and good luck in your next few games.